This MRBI Irish Times poll provides little comfort for Michael Noonan as he faces into tonight's TV debate. Although his personal popularity is marginally up, the figures show Fine Gael down 2% in the party's share of first preference votes on the last comparable survey two weeks ago. The details of the poll to be published in tomorrow's Irish Times are Fianna Fáil unchanged at 45%, Fine Gael down 2 at 21 Labour unchanged at 12 Sinn Féin up 1 at 7%, Progressive Democrats unchanged at 2 and Greens 3% unchanged. Satisfaction with the party leaders shows Bertie Ahern at 70% up 1, Michael Noonan 31% up 1, Mary Harney 57% up 5, Rory Quinn 45 up 3, Trevor Sargent unchanged and Jerry Adams 51 points up 3. The poll was carried out last Monday using simulated ballot papers in each of the 42 constituencies. Earlier, Michael Noonan attempted to move the issue of sleaze to the centre of the political agenda. He launched a party document pledging permanent commissions on corruption and rezoning and measures to promote open government as he attacked Fianna Fáil's record on ethics in public office. A vote for Fianna Fáil on Friday, on Friday is a vote for, or a vote for any party prepared to go into partnership with Fianna Fáil is a vote for corruption, cronyism and sleaze. A vote for Fine Gael, on the other hand, is a vote for a comprehensive programme of actions designed to restore good government to the Irish people. Yesterday Fine Gael told us the most important issue in the whole election was the economy. Today they're changing their mind completely. It's a, it's a desperate last attempt by the party to, to, uh, to win some support in the campaign. And speaking on the 6-1 News, Rory Quinn said the real issue in this election was the standard of our public services. Uh, the tribunals are there to uncover and deal with all the matters relating to wrongdoings in the past. Let them get on with their business. They've taken a long time as it is already. But for somebody waiting for a hospital bed or for their child to be properly assessed for psychological purposes or whatever, they want decent public services and that's what this election is about. Michael Noonan has deployed quality of life issues, the state of the economy and now sleaze and corruption as part of his campaign, but yet the Fine Gael ratings continue to languish. At this late stage, it's difficult, if not impossible, to see how that situation can be turned around between now and polling day. David Davenpower, RTE News.